All right, everybody, welcome to a new podcast. We're calling it the Movie Watchers Guild. We're going to watch a movie, I don't know, sporadically. We haven't made a schedule for this yet, but uh, it's not going to be movies we all hate or movies we all love. It's going to be movies we haven't seen or movies we love or hate. And uh, so we're doing a movie review podcast, just in case you guys have never heard of movie review on the internet. It's a way for us to get together and just have fun. Just get stuff off our chest. Alright, so tonight we're going to be talking about the Scorpion King Book of Souls, which is Scorpion King 5. I don't know why there's 5. That's but four too many. I think several of us found it surprising that there were five of them. Yes. Very true. That is yeah. very true. That is very true. Uh, yeah. So I the synopsis of this movie is, the Scorpion King teams up with a female warrior named Tala, who is the sister of a Nubian king. Together they search for a legendary relic known as the Book of, Sol- Book. Book of Souls, Book. which will allow them to put an end to the evil warlord. Ah, that's pretty much the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. done. Done. That was our review. <laughs> no. No, no, there's so many. Oh, somebody's got a whole book of notes over there she's got to get off her chest. Yep, so not that bad. I didn't really mind it. I give it like a 5 out of 10 because it was, okay, if it was called Dungeons and Dragons and the Book of Souls, eh, it's like an 8. But you had to go and call it Scorpion King. One, there's no scorpions. Yeah, yeah there's no scorpions. There were. There, okay. there, there were. There, there, there's no. He, he didn't turn into a scorpion, though. There were more snakes than scorpions. There were, like, a significant number of snakes. Because in the movie. first one, the rock is a scorpion. Or, no, that's in the mummy. He's that's a in scorpion. The mummy 2. Yeah. Mummy 2 that he's a scorpion. And he looks really good in it. Yeah. No, no, he looked really good until they did the CGI nonsense. I'm like, no, just show the rock. That's all you have to do, okay? Not in the early 2000s. You got to do CGI. You got to do everything. What with is this CGI. practical effects bullshit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Any of you? So anybody? Uh, so okay. My one other main concern is, so the princess, or the girl who they're trying to save, right? So. She's book. She has yeah. So she has a very skimpy shirt on, right down to her belly button. No bra, but when they take the shirt off, she's she got has a bikini a on. Yeah, I don't understand. Wait, just with the, the tiny bikini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how she didn't get sunburned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's been Especially in the for, yeah, cave for million thousands of years. She would have burst into flames. Then they go to the white sands of Utah, the and then they're. Yeah, I think they're actually in South Africa because I waited through the credits to see where it was because of, I wanted to see where it. None of it really looked like it was in, you know, Egypt or anything like that. And I'm like, where the hell is this? I think I would agree with Nick. I didn't hate it. The part that really ruined it for me was when Jar Jar Binks showed up. The fucking golem. <laughs> Took, t- took me right out of the goddamn movie. I was like, I was into it. It should have been a non-speaking role. Yeah, I, I was into it, and I was like, this is pretty good. I was like, I may have to, you know, I might be the contrarian at the table. And then he showed up, and I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm out. I, I kind of agree with you, but the, the for me the golem or golem golem however you say it provided the the biggest laugh for me the entire movie because when you first see him he's, he's he swings down he's attacking the scorpion king and then the the, the nubian princess takes her spear from the behind and goes right through ouch oh, oh. no fair you hit me in the back <laughs> no fair that's when i got i got taken out i was like mm. I was into it. I don't need the comedy. I don't understand why they have to put comedy in these goddamn movies anymore. Why can't it just be straight up? You know, so to me, by that time, it was one of those things where it's like, okay, there wasn't a whole lot of action, and might as well put something else in there. <laughs> What'd you think, Arnie? Overall, um, I thought the writing really sucked. Well, uh, yeah. the writing yeah, is yeah. really lazy. Really by the fifth one, they're just like, and yeah, the directing anything. was 
that existed. cliche and not very good. <laughs> and it did not bring out the best in the actors who were moderate actors anyway. I thought visually, like, the effects were done fairly was. well. Uh, even the CGI was done fairly well. Uh, they had, I thought it had decent backgrounds, and I thought the props were okay, except for all the stupid wooden jails that Kate was trying to chew out of, but... <laughs> with rotten like, wood uh, but yeah i thought <laughs> visually it was okay I, and there were way too many nods to like conan the barbarian definitely there were like yeah. just overt nods um and probably to a couple other shows too but it was kind of like uh when they were going into town before they went to, uh across the sea which i thought was a sea and they actually looked like they were crossing an ocean uh the, the that, that town kind of reminded me of uh Uh, beyond Thunderdome, the the city that uh, that they were at, because they had, had people patrolling around, and it seemed like it was just a completely gated community. Oh yeah, and parkour. Why? Why parkour? Why? <laughs> parkour. Why? Yeah. Why? There should Why be not? no parkour in made up Egypt. I hate yes. it when people forget to Egypt? use arrows. I don't when know. They should use arrows, and it's... then they pull out those fucking awesome blowgun darts. That almost instantly paralyze them. Why didn't they have those earlier? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, know. and the golem, it's 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 Jewish or Hebrew. How, I don't. How, how does that end up in 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 it's Sumerian? You know, it I, I was not. thinking. How that. does a Nubian princess have an English accent? Yep. <laughs> Why? Why does yep. everybody have an English accent? <laughs> because that's how they spoke in ancient Egypt. Did not. Chip chop cheerio. <laughs> Um. No, go ahead. Finish. Oh okay. no, there. I think, and I don't remember it very well. But in the very beginning, when uh, the bad guys come and they kill that little boy, the the awesome lady kills the little boy. Uh-huh. I was like, well, why didn't the main bad guy go? Because he could have just <laughs> them right there. And then, of course, the main bad guy didn't want to. And when he finally had him in chains. Yeah. Yep. Because his his people wanted to, you know, watch him fight. Bloodlust. His jackals. Does he care about his jackals? His dogs. Until that point. Uh, no, no, he did not. Well, the other thing that got me too is from the very beginning, the uh, the priestess. Was it me the or one with the bird? Yes. <laughs> okay. The uh-huh. creepy. F- I couldn't. I couldn't stand the creepy fucking eyes in this thing. You know, I'm no. like, well, why the what, hell what, they got creepy eyes? What what what, what kept, what kept getting me more. was that she looked like a uh, a. Uh, a Melissa Milano wannabe look-alike. Lacey specifically wanted me to mention her horrible hair. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's it's like they actively made it as horrible as possible with the chop there and the chop there. Well, they were, they were trying to go for that uh, Cleopatra look. It's not the Cleopatra so, crack whore look. <laughs> so after the Crow 2, any witchy woman with a crow just as overdone because there's two crow movies that or four crow movies that all have that same character in it really and it's just like enough it was fine yep. in crow one stop it yep and now you're bringing it into this boy that edward furlong crow was a masterpiece oh yeah uh, nothing better it was i haven't a falcon. seen it but Don't. it sounds not I'm good i'm making a really bad grimace face <laughs> microphone can't pick that up <laughs> well thank god jason momoa stopped doing the crow movie oh god Jason Momoa did a crow movie. He was making a crow movie. Oh, that's right. They were. I don't think they should remake that movie. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, no. But we're talking about Scorpion King yeah, Five. Scorpion so. King Five, not yeah. the crow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Miss Miss, I did my homework and took lots of notes. What did you think? Oh, I took a lot of notes. <laughs> I can't were you done, Arnie? Notes. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. much. Okay. We'll pop in. All right. Okay. okay. There's not a lot. It's an hour and a half. Of, uh, <laughs> of running through the desert, an easily solvable riddle. Yep. It's, it's, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. An so easily solvable riddle. <laughs> it's written on the tomb or the the gateway. Yeah. Hey. Oh, here it is. Here, it's right here. Yeah, there, there it is for you. Um, it took me a half hour and looking it up on on Internet Movie Database to figure out what the actual storyline was because I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't tell from watching the movie. And normally I'm fairly adept at that stuff. Fairly. Um, but it was not clear at all. 
<laughs> I'm looking at this going, what the hell? First off, you have, like, the Scorpion King who's, like, Danny Glover from Lethal Weapon. I'm just a blacksmith. Oh, I'm God. too old for <laughs> this <laughs> shit. <laughs> the entire time, it's like, hey. hey. I just a blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's all I can. Every time he would say that, I'm like, so you're doing, like, Danny Glover. I, I got it. You've said it, like, four times. I'm just a blacksmith. I don't, you know, I don't want to go on this quest with you. You've but just right. been revoked. I hate quests. Yeah, yeah. I hate quests. So, like, you had that, and then you had the, the Nubian princess who had to go find this guy out in the middle of nowhere because she was worried that she couldn't gather the people together for her tribe. She needed to pull in some white guy from the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but all it took was her brother to die, and then they all came together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. You don't yeah. need them. You just need to kill your brother. Wasn't there, unite a, your people. Wasn't there a prophecy <laughs> that something that she was basing all this off of as well? Then she probably had a shitty prophet, okay? <laughs> she needed to go get someone better. <laughs> she needed she to had go... Professor Tr- Trelawney. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, yeah. It's that grim. <laughs> <laughs> go, go I just see tea leaves. <laughs> go hang around some of those sulfuric, what are they, uh, what was it in Greece? They had the temple and they had the sulfuric, uh, Slavers would come off, and they'd make them all nuts, and they'd shout a bunch of stuff. Oh, I was thinking the movie Grease. Yeah, me too. I don't remember that part. Oh, I don't the, remember the, that in Grease. place. <laughs> you're, you're, you're talking about the Oracle of Delphi? Yes, that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not I was the like, Oracle of Travolta? You're the one I want! You're the one I want! You're the one I want! I know, and then, you know, he was, quote-unquote, the last Acadian. You know, Acadia still exists. The last time I checked, they they still have a place called Acadia. It's just the uh, Acadians. So I don't he, see how it could be he, the last. He got married and repopulated. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just had scorpion babies. <laughs> scorpion yeah, baby babies. scorpions all over the place. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense because he gets locked up in the mummy too, in mm-hmm. a tomb. Mm-hmm. I, I don't Somebody know. let him out. Somebody let him out. <laughs> No, no, but Arne, he's just did a you let him out? It wasn't me. Class, you know? so. And then um, I appreciate the uh, the woman who uh, the, the the woman who was the you know like master fighter for the bad guy or whatever. Yeah, I think she should be in more movies. Yeah, she was really good. Yeah, yeah. But like right away when she, she killed Wonder the woman. kid, I'm like, was that's she? somewhere. That's leverage. Why would you kill leverage? That's you just take the kid and say, here, follow the kid. And and he'll like follow along, and then you know you just kill him there. It's fine, but why there? It just it doesn't make sense if they're supposed to be these great you know fighters and. She it wasn't. It wasn't even his kid either. It was like, oh, you just killed the kid. She's psychotic yeah. and doesn't I put many. a lot of thought into her actions. She'd work really well with my D and D group. <laughs> <laughs> well, then there was the then the, there then there was her sidekick, the guy who looked like he came from the land of the Vikings. <laughs> Yeah, I need the two like braids that like stuck forward. <laughs> Is that like, the guy that got his ass beat at the end? I don't remember. Uh, He's like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people that are dead in this movie. Yeah, so. I don't yeah. know. I don't yeah. know. You're gonna bleed. You're gonna die. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that guy. guy. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, that guy. Um, <laughs> and then I'm not okay. Oh my god, she's on page two. Oh no, I have notes. <laughs> um, okay. All the, the white guys. The sand people? Yeah. Well, were they supposed to be, like, tough looking? Cause Teresa, like... Teresa just said they needed a bath. <laughs> I, yeah, no. I thought about the same thing. I'm like, what is this? A reunion for a frat house? Like, you know, 30 years later, it's a bunch of guys with beer bellies and white paint on. They went know? to a color run and just decided to go to the desert. <laughs> yes. Burning man. Uh, are they supposed to be intimidating? Because, no. No. Unless they look like clowns. <laughs> Well, Maybe yeah. they were just a nomadic tribe of clowns <laughs> <laughs> whose makeup crusted us. <laughs> and you notice that it started it got baked on off from like it, it got the end. it got baked on from the sun. Well, if you notice too, when they were when the uh, when he was fighting the one in the the river, it washed off. <laughs> yeah, he got a bath. He looked no, like a normal human. <laughs> I did. No, I was just like, oh, these were supposed to be great warriors. Who people were intimidated by. I'm like, no, no, not at all. Not. Even I'm not intimidated by them, and I would flee at the sight of about anything. So, no. Um, so, I the whole 
bit with them, I think, could have just been completely thrown out. I don't know if, like, the director, like, owed these guys something, if they contributed to the movie, and he, he needed to throw them in there somehow. He needed filler. <laughs> so I don't remember, did they even help them when they got captured? Or did they just stand around looking? They they, they, they helped at, at the end. end. No, yeah, they came yeah, at they the end. Fired, no, what they, they said fired a few arrows. was, uh, let's they, they unleash the hell stick. upon them. And then they shot a couple of arrows with fire. Oh, that was another thing that I didn't like. It was the gladiator on my mark. Unleash hell. <laughs> I was like, okay, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus Aurelius. Aurelius. Yeah, and, and it wasn't. Not Marcus hell. Aurelius. It was no, Maximus. Sorry, Ma- Ma- yeah. Maximus. Maximus. I really think they were doing stuff like that on purpose for certain. To. I, you know, I, I was just like, so wow, to, I'm watching Gladiator movies. again. <laughs> but it, I remember one of them. But there was no Conan epic battle. Just, no. They practically said it. I don't remember <laughs> what the comment was. But. Yeah, but the Unleashed Hell was like, you know, one or two arrows that were lit Damn. on fire. And that was like, that's yeah. hell? That was Unleashing Hell. <laughs> it scared him. Just no. scared one guy. <laughs> one guy. Oh my <laughs> god, the fire! Ah, the fire! No! Yeah, they scared the golem. They scared the <laughs> golem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I was kind of uh, disappointed too that they actually had to psych the golem up in order to break out of the cage. Yeah, all he had to do was stand. He was a sad golem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the thing that he's been protecting for a thousand years that he hasn't actually ever got to protect is about to get killed, and he's just. I failed her. I failed her. I failed her. her with my nose. With my nose. <laughs> I failed her. And what was with that fight? Like, just the one guy steps out and they shoot him with the little blow darts. He falls down and the rest of them are just like, we got a warrior and a golem and a, like a book of souls. And they're like, oh well. Oh. <laughs> Guess we're caught. The leader of the party's down. We can't do nothing. We can't do anything at all. Uh, no one to give us directions. <laughs> I give up. I, I give up. up. I'm, nope, I'm done. And, and I give up. They blacked out to not show how, like, useless the whole thing was. I'm like, this... she said warrior princess, like, 18 times, so we're just... Xena? Yes. Sheila? Yeah. No, that's what she called herself. She called herself a warrior princess, the one Nubian princess. Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? Tanya or uh, Damien or... Uh, the Nubian. Tatiana. I like that she was going to be sold for uh, five, what was it, five goats and some <laughs> pomegranate wine. <laughs> That was awesome. That was awesome. You've, 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 that never, was awesome. you've never had pomegranate <laughs> wine. <laughs> that, that's the, the other thing. I bet you would have got asked for more than five, five, five goats and, a, and and some wine for her. <laughs> and why, why was it? Oh yeah, you know I'll fight you guys and just give me the girl. Like what? It's not. I, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> They they broke off at the end into their man on man and girl well, on girl, girl fights yes. like normal, but then the fucking scorpion king fucking hammers a lady in the in her back like <laughs> wow <that's>, cheap shot <laughs> really that's cheap, for yeah. the boy that I have no <laughs> blood relation to that you killed at the beginning to make me angry. No. It, oh, it, that was the that was the Conan thing. Was that blacksmith scene? The whole uh, this you can trust. Yeah, I mean, that was just flat. They were doing that on purpose. I hope <laughs> <laughs> they're just pulling anything out of their oh, ass. The, 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 the other thing too is, it didn't look like he was a very good blacksmith. No, <laughs> no, he did not. No, so yeah, that, so that, pretty. That, yeah, that 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 copesh he was making it didn't look like it would uh, do much. <laughs> Other than be a paperweight. Or, I'm sorry, a papyrus weight. Papyrus a papyrus weight. weight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and why were all the women in bikinis and the guys yet again got to wear, like, shirts and Because pants? it's ancient Egypt. He wore it's a half not, shirt. It's, well, he, had, he had a shirt he, off for majority of, of the movie. <laughs> I mean, I'll give him that, but none of the others did. Like, all the... Was it Would you like to see the leader of the sand people with the shirt off? No, that's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> Which, he have, did he have a Russian accent, or is it... I don't know. Like, Eastern European Russian, something like that? Uh, it, made, it almost made me want to watch uh, the main bad guy. I forget his name. But it, made me, it made me want to watch uh, the first season of Spartacus again. Really? Yeah, just the first 
just the first. <laughs> after <laughs> that, it was crap. I'm trying, I was, they should have ended it after the first season. It was perfect. It was right? crap. <laughs> but but enough of Spartacus. I really liked the first season. All right. Why? Okay. <laughs> what other movies was he in? Because I, I I swear I recognize him in other stuff. That was that was a uh, oh, Tyrese. No. That was Tyrese Gid- Gibson. Yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> what is he in? Who's Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's in 300. Jason X, Three Hundred, Spartacus, Avatar. Oh, Three Hundred. Who was he in Three Hundred? Was he? Uh... There's a messenger. Oh, oh. I, th- I think he was the first one that had his head chopped off. Oh, oh yeah. This. Yes, but yeah. Agents of Shield, Sleepy Hollow. Ooh, Transformers, Beast Wars, Wars? Prime Beast Hunter. What? Oh, it's a cartoon. Yeah, that's a voice. True Blood. Terminator, Terror Chronicles. The Incredible Hulk. Hmm. He's been in a lot. I guess. Oh. Wow. I never seen him before until this movie. You see, I I know I've yeah. seen him other stuff, but I I've just couldn't him. think of any anything offhand. He's in some. He was on some show on recently on NBC that was they're all like it's a big haunted town kind of thing. It's really campy. It's really Midnight really campy. Texas. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Wait, um, wait. No, no. Okay. Who has not seen the first season of Spartacus? That would be me. I That'd haven't seen me. all None of, you? of it. I've seen the. Like, I've the seen like an episode. I can uh, say I've seen an episode. The, the first season was really, really good. It was really great. Yeah. So it was Revolution. Just the first season. You don't need to watch the rest of it. So it was Revolution, and then they ruined that shit. <laughs> um. So. She's on page three. Yep. <laughs> of fifteen. <laughs> no, no, it's not that one. It wasn't. It wasn't. There wasn't that much in the movie. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't think the script was that long. So. <laughs> the script was like the script was about five pages. Pretty much. And that was five pages too long. <laughs> um, they had the part where the, they go to the cave and they're gonna find the book of souls. They're talking about the book of souls, right? And they go and they have to go through the, all this stuff to discover that this woman is a book of souls, and that it's not like a book. And then they get out, and everyone recognizes that she's the Book of Souls. How? It wasn't because her skin is made of paper. It d- is it like ancient vellum. Like um, that doesn't master. mean anything. No, no. That is not even a good riddle. No. And she had to go under the blue light for them to see it. The blue, so the blue light. Ah, here, here's the blue light. Now magically, you see all the writing. So how did some you know? At least it wasn't the black light. Yeah, because it looked like a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, some schlub is up on a hill and yells, you gotta see the book over there! And he's like, I don't read books! And, you know, it's like, <laughs> uh, but how did you know? Nobody knew until they pro- nobody knew that she was a book of souls, so how do all of a sudden you guys know she's a book of souls? Two people went in, four people came out. <laughs> then apparently that means a book. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that, 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 see, now that's an antithesis to the Thunderdome. Manager, one man to come out. No, two men enter, four men leave. Four men leave. <laughs> but the golem wasn't even with them at that time. I think it ran along the beach later. Cause they, True. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so fine. That was quite two minute. Two. A guy and girl enter. Fine. I'll be precise. Sorry. A man and woman enter. One man and two women leave. Look at him what go. What happened? He's a pimp. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing I didn't like at at the end was the the entire thing. I just. I'm ready to die, and she just walks into the sword, and he just readily does as allows her to. And it's like he's got to walk off like Bruce Banner at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Did he walk off or ride off? He rolled off into the sunset. Did he? Like Indiana Jones? I bet he was riding a giant scorpion. That would have been worth. That would have been awesome been if he was ass. riding a scorpion. Who knew? Like the the, the scorpions uh, from. Uh, Old like Sinbad claymation. <laughs> that would have been cool too. No, I, was, I was thinking it's... more along the lines of the the, the remake of um, what was the other Greek uh, movie? Damn it! Oh, the, um, yeah. The uh, Clash of the Titans. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's another one I haven't seen. 
What? I've seen the original. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then the action, I kind of had, like, they kept doing the shaky cam and 50,000 edits, and I'm like... You know what that means, they just can't fight, so yeah. they have to keep editing, <laughs> yeah, keep editing it. it to make it look like... Come on! Throw a punch. Okay, we'll that, cut. that looked like shit. Can you do it again? Kick. Higher. Kick. Higher. Yeah. Anytime I see that, it's just, like, instantaneous, so they can't, like... That was, that was two something. weeks of fighting, right there. Two weeks of fighting. <laughs> two weeks of choreograph. So whenever White man happens, can't dance. Like it's an action That's movie, me. so you know, the only people who can stunt. What? I don't know. That's what? not in the budget. Been, that would have put them over budget. <laughs> <laughs> they had a two dollar budget for this movie. <laughs> they had, it's it's why they filmed in the in the desert. South Africa. Is that bad guy fighter character? Is she actually like a martial artist or something? She looked like it. Amazing. Well, she never mind. I was gonna say something. Martial artist, fitness champion. Yeah, yeah I think maybe they should have had more of her. Well, yeah, I, she's I bet Asian. she could have done some fight <laughs> choreography. They all know how to fight. But I don't remember <laughs> that she had a lot of fighting. Fighting. I mean, she cut some people up. She shot some people with a bow. There was a lot of posing too. Even without the makeup on, she looks like she could kick somebody's ass. <laughs> yeah, they did the weird. They made them all, like, all the bad guys, they made them look, like, as weird as possible. Like, I squash your head like here, a spider Here, put some sort of weird, weird thing on I'll your forehead die. so that you know, oh, this is the bad guy. There you go. You know, and then, you know, the clean, glowy faces for the people who weren't the bad guys. Just to make it more obvious, because, yeah. That's how it works in real life. If you want to see a scary person, they're going to have something on their forehead as opposed to just blending with everybody else. Okay, right. So I got something on that. So Anubis, when he showed up. Okay, now for me, Anubis is a god who's actually with a jackal head. Mm -hmm. Not a human with a jackal head. (laughs) On. I'm like, okay, I can see his human mouth. Yeah. Um, Why does he have to be a human? This isn't Stargate. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not even going to go with Stargate. Maybe maybe it wasn't in the budget. I don't know. Right? We couldn't cover the mouth <laughs> just paint it green and do something or you know paint it black but yeah no. they ran out of uh, money for the CGI <laughs> yep. they're like CGI we didn't choose CGI in this other than when she dies <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> that's where they blew their budget at <laughs> they blew their load to on make, that to make that sword right disappear <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even show the sword they just you know they showed her walking forward they didn't show the sword at all so, yeah. And Sam. It was dissolved. Sam. He had, a, he had a pile of... He literally held her remains in the palm of his hand. Oh, God. That's true love right there, man. Yeah. No, it's not. They, they knew each other for, ass. like, you know, <laughs> yeah. a couple of days. There was a hell of an emotional bond at the end that I didn't quite get. I, yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't believe that. It was like... I thought there was going to be a gratuitous sex scene somewhere <laughs> in this movie. It's PG-13. PG thirteen. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even look at the rating. Yeah, <laughs> it said uh, partial nudity on it. No, there was no partial. No What's partial. Now, well, he's topless and she's wearing uh-huh. a bikini. Oh, I, yeah. I did see a um, very revealing, like just nipple bikini. One mistake much, yeah. uh, when the Scorpion King was uh, chained uh, in between these two rocks at the end after he'd been captured, and he got bit by the scorpion. He had that wound on his abdomen where the guy nicked him with the Sword of Souls. Mm-hmm. That wound was there before he nicked him with the Sword of Souls. I missed that. <laughs> I didn't see that. I don't have to... <laughs> I'm not watching this movie again. <laughs> no, no. You think? <laughs> and another, like, I don't know, it's personal. Like, I I hate when writers are like, I'm super smart. I'm smarter than you. I'm going to name this character after this really obscure character that I'm in, like, old texts. So, Enkidu, the golem, is named after Gilgamesh's boyfriend. And I'm going to use boyfriend because God made Enkidu for Gilgamesh. Right? So, yeah, they're boyfriends. So. God. And it's just like, knock it off. <laughs> it's like just taking a random old history book and yeah. naming your character. Like, oh. They, <laughs> I, they didn't use a book. They used wiki. Right? Wiki. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did say specifically, I don't read books in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it is the personal thing. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. I, I don't think they actually expect people to watch this movie. No. They just threw it out to get paid. <laughs> I know. 
we got a contract to make one more movie. I know. <laughs> make this. Oh, um, and then they had that magical device thing. They always got the magical device thing, right? With the little twisty, yeah, and the, all the, ma- were they, were they the, the, magnifying the, the, glass or was it just the glass? Or oh, I don't know. I don't know. That, I was, to me, that was a nod yeah. to, um, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> trying to recall the scene. Where were they? Where were they Is that when they're the opening the gate? Yeah, that's yes. when they're opening oh, okay. the gate. Um, and they do the little magic thing. Yeah, the, 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 the that, that end the of itself. The gate itself was Stargate. The gate yeah. was Stargate. Well, the the, 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 the thing on top and, of the staff, the, that was uh, Raiders yeah, of the yeah, Lost yeah. Ark. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Was it, was, it, was it Star Trek? Like the original series? What was the one where they had the gate? What was the gate? It almost kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings too, when they were trying to go through the Moon Gate thing. Oh you know, yeah, the, with the lighting or the writing that lit up, and yeah. Because if I don't say this, we're going to get emails. The city on the edge of tomorrow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> Thanks. What do you mean you don't know that Star Trek episode? <laughs> what? I thought this was a nerd podcast. I'm going to go suck <laughs> on my tailpipe. <laughs> Anybody who's concerned, I'm going to take care of that tonight. All right, thanks. We don't need. Okay, and what are the chances we so the golem that had to have been played by some wrestler because he like all the quips and everything oh. or something like that. They sounded like it was one of the guys from one of the WWE or something like that. Well, you know, I well, know he, yep. he played the wrestler, Nathan Jones. Yep, he was a wrestler. The first thing I saw when I saw the golem was the golem was. He looks like he was. Brian Chickless from. Uh, <laughs> as, as, as a thing. <laughs> I had seen the name before. It wasn't Vinnie Jones, so I guess I yep. don't really care. Yeah, the, the, the Vinnie Jones little, would have been little, awesome the, in the that movie. Puzzle box. It was running the, the, um, the movie based off of Dan Brown book. Uh, Tom Hanks was in it. Oh, where they was the stupid Inferno. Apple? Was that Inferno? No. Da Vinci Code? Uh, da Angels Vinci and Code, Demons? Da Vinci Code. By the way, when they had Da Vinci Code and they had to open it, I'm like, they're like, it's going to be a magic word. Though. Someone else, and I'm like, if they pick Apple, I'm going to blow my stack. This is ridiculous. It can't be Apple. It can't be that stupid. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very, very wrong. And I was very, very angry after that. <laughs> the Apple's a metaphor for fertility. It's got seeds in it. And blah, blah, blah. The, 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 the password to the, the gate is one, two, two three, <laughs> three, four, four five. five. My god, that sounds like some, some idiot would use for their luggage. We had to get one Spaceballs reference <laughs> in <laughs> somewhere. It, it's been every show. <laughs> Glad I could help. One, two, three, four, but five. No. no, it was like, huh. it don't make Wait, it out my luggage. <laughs> said, you know, the women just fight the women, and the guy just fight the guys, and it's like, uh, you know, if it's supposed to be a melee, they're all kind of just going to go at each other regardless, you know? One at a time, like a Bruce Lee fight. <laughs> One well, at a time, they, like they, a the other Lee. thing, when uh, they first come up with the uh, Meet the Sand people, and all the arrows come down, it's all around them, but it's like, can we not one of them? If, if oh, they man. were trying to hit us, we'd be dead. Or in the, uh, the two men enter, one men leave uh, city, where he starts fighting those guys. And of course, they come at him yeah. one at a time. One at a time. They yeah. don't just Nobody gangs, all arrows or anything. At gang him. up on him at all. And I couldn't figure out, like, they went in there, we, well, we have to go here and sell our horses. And they put, throw, like, a couple of towels on their heads. And they're like, Because nobody would notice that big fucking golem with a, with a uh, towel on his head. And how much does he weigh? Would he kill that horse? He probably would have <laughs> killed the horse. <laughs> yes. That horse is like, oh, 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 hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thought says, like, how the hell does he keep up? He's on a horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the one gal didn't even get a full cape. It, like, just covered, like, her bikini, kind of. And I was like, at least give her a full well, cape for God's Well, sake. to be fair, she was the eye candy of the movie. <laughs> True. <laughs> She also had the Cleopatra hair going on after her hair got dried. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, did her hair change in the which one? The map, no. the book lady. Did her hair change? No, it was it, 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 kind it, of when, when she came yeah. out of the pool. Obviously, it was all what? wet and slicked back, 
and then afterwards, which again, oh, for some reason, I thought her hair clothing. was spontaneously changing. Yeah. And at least she got to wear pants for half the movie. <sighs> you know, so there was that. <laughs> but um, yeah, and the one gal, of course, who didn't cover her hair was the one who had the most intricate hairstyle with like the crown, and she's the one who didn't wear like a towel over her head. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the one who you want to have. Your head not covered. That's, that's the way to go, right there. Nobody will ever know. The makeup artists were like, "Don't mess it up. <laughs> Don't mess this up. <laughs> it took us too long. It took us too long to get her ready. Do not we, mess we this up. up. We used up all the hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out here, and hairspray dissolved. I'm not doing it again. Well, and then they were gonna they were gonna sell the horses. And then they never, never they, never, the sold the they never sold the horses. They never sold the horses, and the next thing you know, they're on a boat. On an ocean. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that they were supposed to just cross a, 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 a sea with cut scenes. With cut three scenes. hours long. <laughs> the director's cut, yeah. and it's like, yeah, three hours, three, oh, four yeah, hours right. long, and you're like, oh my god. Let me, I, I need to stab my eyes <laughs> out. <laughs> well, and they all knew how to sail the boat, too, which I would think would, you know... They, well, they the like Scorpion King has been around for a long time, so he had to have done something before he was a blacksmith. Yeah, he was Maui okay. before that. <laughs> he was Maui. <laughs> he had Maui's sword. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Maui's hook. The fish hook. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's what it looked like to me. It looked like Maui's hook. <laughs> Come on, it's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I know, I know. And then, yeah, I know, the whole... That's about the only thing they didn't do in that movie was break out in song. Yep. Maybe it's in the extended cut. <laughs> Again, I like the extended it. cuts of Lord of the Rings. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no, the whole I, I when I watched this, I remembered why I get annoyed with barbarian movies, which is always you know save the girl. I'm like, can the girl save herself once? Red no. Sonia, She's... just watch Red Sonia once. Red Sonia, you'll be happy. <laughs> okay. There you go. They're trying to remake that, aren't no, they? No, don't do that. I know. Um, but... Rose McGowan was supposed to play her. And dropped out because she got hurt. That's why she appeared in Conan the Barbarian remake as the witch. Okay. Speaking of overrated actors. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> wow. Tell us how you really feel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we won't be watching what what's that movie where she's got the machine gun? Planet Terror. Yeah, something like that. We won't be watching that. Yeah, that one. Scream? The Doom Generation? The Doom Generation, I thought was really awesome. Never did. Age, and I think I tried to watch the Doom Generation like within the last few years, and I made it like five or ten minutes. I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> with, the, with the knockoff Keanu Reeves in it? Whoa. <laughs> god, that kid. I could do Kung Fu. But yeah, no, I, mean, I think the, I like the, I liked the scenery, like where they filmed it, which was apparently South Africa. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 yeah. the scenery was... It was sand. Was really nice. I hate sand. It's coarse, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> everywhere you don't want it to be. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> in Natalie Portman's butt, because that's where he was going. <laughs> <laughs> in places you never thought you knew you had. You, you know why the, he never searched for Luke on tattooing, right? <laughs> because of the sand. sand. <laughs> There's a kid named Skywalker... Sand. Somewhere in the universe, do a Google search, Garth. Just do a Google search. Do a Google Skywalker. Searches. Oh, he's on Tatooine. He's on Tatooine, my home planet. There's man. a guy named Kenobi, too? There's sand. Oh, wow. Nope. Nope. I, get, I don't do we sand. We did a global search of uh, the uh, Skyhopper registrations <laughs> and uh, licenses, and we got uh, we got a hit, Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not going there. Sand. Nope. All he cares about is Mm-mm. Han Solo. Wow. That's not Obi Wan. That's that's Ben Kenobi. That's like his long lost yeah. cousin. Huh. Old Ben. They they, they 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 forgot to comb the desert. Was what it was. We ain't found <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was Piper's favorite part of the movie, by the way. <laughs> no, they, said, they said at least one. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably do all. That, that was Piper's favorite part. Was <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> and you notice he was using a hair pick. Yep. Okay. Should we do six more minutes and then cut it? Yep. Sure. sure. And then 
We haven't even no, gotten to Jason yet. Pressure. Like, how the fuck do we fill six minutes? Oh crap! <laughs> we got some dildos to fight. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta remember to take notes next time so I, I can be as thorough as a. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, this is right for six minutes. Like, as should, should, should you watch this movie? Yeah, no, no. I made up my save, mind. Save, save, first twenty five minutes into the movie. Well, I was gonna yeah. say Nick. I, I, I think Nick. Yeah, I was gonna say Nick had a best. He fell asleep halfway through. It's it. better than ninety percent of the crap on Amazon Prime. You know, I went oh. to I went to I went to Internet Movie Database, and some people had given it ten stars. You want to read one? No, we, we can read a review. Yeah, we should read yeah. one. <laughs> it was it was like what? Why? Why would you? I'd it was, give it four stars out of ten. Three out of ten. I gave it a five. I would not. I would not go higher than three out of ten. I'd probably even go two out of ten. It wasn't. I mean, there were. There I've were seen worse. some pretty bad movies. You ever seen the talented <laughs> Mr. Ripley? That's a half star movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Matt Damon. Really? Arn. Uh, I'm thinking three and a half to four. Right. Not quite three, but not five. Mm-hmm. Or four. I, I mean, four might be too high. I'm not sure. So I'm going with three and a half to four, somewhere yeah. three point seven five stars. I, I was being nice because I like the the fight stars. scenes. See, for me, the fight scenes weren't as good because they kept doing all the cuts. So I'm like, I, what I, I didn't look cuts. that deeply into the movie. <laughs> when, when I'm looking at it, it's just like I'm like, I was just like, show the action. Oh, oh they're God. they're kicking ass. All right. <laughs> Maybe I need to start doing that. I don't like this camera shot right here. <laughs> the lighting's not right. I need a lens flare right here. Nothing says in the movie like a lens flare. They had lens flare. They need flare. a gust of right wind away, to come through and just kick thing, up some but, sand. And I don't even notice stuff like that. And I'm like, it's sitting there for like ages. And I'm like, All right, did you find one, Nick? <laughs> no, they're all stupid. They're all stupid? Okay. <laughs> well, Nick, Most of the people like, try to, like, they get pretty much the same. Whoa. What? What does it oh. get for Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> Still pretty decent, which was like why? So one guy says, "Insane clown posse gets violent." What? what? Pretty good action, scripted as much as the screenplay. Worthy watch if you enjoy swords and stuff. Six stars. Six. Well, you know, insane clown posse gets violent. I don't get that. I don't. I, I, don't, think, I they're think they're talking, talking about, about the sand, sand people. Sand people. Mm. Yeah. Two. Well, Nick, you're the only one who hasn't given a rating yet. Uh, didn't I say five? He said five. He said five? Yeah. It's, right a, good, it's a good Dungeons yeah, & Dragons movie. Yeah, it's, it was, it's better than... Dungeons & Dragons? It's better than the second... Jamadar! Movie. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that one that, uh, with the stupid black alien thing in it? The, Which one? The demon thing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't like that one. Good. Good. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> So it almost um, sounds like the, the, the average between all of us was four stars. Four stars. Yeah. And I mean, I like the fact that they actually had a couple of women in it who weren't, I mean, granted, they don't, they look like they were supposed to do stuff, and the one did do some stuff, and the rest of them were there to stand around. It wasn't like Black Panther uh, type I women action, seen, so. Oh. I haven't seen Black Panther yeah, yet. I watch it. It's. I loved it. It's one of the best. It, I keep saying that every time they bring out one, and I'm like, this is the best one they've done yet. Because they keep getting better. <laughs> so we're going to state now which one we're going to try doing for next time, or are we just going to let it surprise? We're talking Ooh. about rolling a dice. Do we have We've got any... 12 movies on a list, and I'm going to roll a D12. Need a Nick's rolling a D12. We've got to be able to access them. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be ac- It's got to be accessible. So we could do Hateful Eight, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or The Babysitter. I think we should do The Hateful Eight. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix, yes. I'm going to have to watch it by myself. Because Sony will not watch it. These are going to come out sporadically, I don't know. Probably when BTS doesn't have an episode. So, that's going to be next week. <laughs> <laughs> Better get to editing. So, alright, it's been Nick. Kirk. Arn. Allison. Jason. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Nick. Hope you all enjoyed this first episode of our movie review podcast. Something about changing the name of the movie watchers guild because there's another one called the screen watchers guild and I don't want to be in comparison with them. Let's just face it, they're probably a lot better than us. Um, 
Um, so I'm going to call it the Broken Fantasy Movie Reviews. Because the bad movies are pretty much broken fantasies. So if you want to hear more movie reviews, just let me know. Write me at pbspodcast at yahoo.com. Give me a note and maybe some suggestions for movies. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.